Hey guys, don't forget, we're giving, doing a giveaway for a Crydex blowout kit. Uh, jump over to this video, like, comment, watch the video for the details on the dump pouch, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel when we hit 75 subscribers. We're going to do a random comment picker on the original uh, review video on the Kyde or Crydex blowout kit, and that winner is going to get, I'm going to get a hold of them. We're going to send this out to them so they can have a pretty cool piece of, of gear for their belt to help them out. All right, guys, back to the video. What's going on, guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. We got another Olight to take a look at here. This one is the Olight Warrior X Turbo. So this is a little bit different style light than what I have. Um, obviously, I have a lot of the smaller lights. Then I have that Seeker 2 Pro that's bright. This one is made for a little bit different though. This is made as more of like a searchlight. Uh, so it'll actually reach out and project light a lot further. It doesn't have as big of a flood area. So let's take a look at the specs on the Warrior X Turbo. So yet again, just like all the other O lights, IPX8, uh, your overall length is 6.18 inches and your weight's gonna be 10.37 ounces. So it is a little heavier and it's a tad bit longer than the Seeker 2 Pro. Your options for charging is the magnetic tail switch. So it does come with a, the MCC3 charger from Olight, specified with the red bottom. So this is a one, 1 1.5 and two amp charger. Uh, battery wise, it's gonna take that same battery as the Secret 2 Pro though. It's that 5,000 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, 21,700. So, take this out here and show you. So it's taking that same big battery that the Secret 2 Pro took. Now, this light is a little different than most of the O-lights. It only has two light options, that's it. Um, so there's no side button on this one. It is just the tail switch. So your first half press is going to be uh, 150 lumens. It's going to run for 12.5 or 12 and a half hours. But as you can see here, the flood itself, you can get to the corner here, the edge of the flood, it's not really that bright, but that centered is hot that's like that's a that's a very focused light right here um, now when you go to the full press that is going to be 1100 lumens it's going to run for six and a half minutes step down to 600 lumens for 105 minutes then it'll step down again to 300 lumens that's going to run for 27 minutes step down one more time to 150 lumens for 52 minutes so yet again the flood itself isn't isn't that bright, but that center that center spot is hot. Like even this distance here, my hand's getting warm. So that's what this is kind of made for. And I'll show you as we go outside here how far this can actually reach. But these numbers are insane for only being 1,100 lumens. This thing can actually reach a fair distance. Uh, so your intensities. So I have both of them for this one. So for your half press, it's 32,400 32, candela. And then your full press is gonna be 250,000 candela. Your beam distance is 1,000 meters or 3,280 feet. Um, so we're looking at, you know, ranges close to a mile here that this thing can actually reach out and light up and it does a very good job at it. Uh, so like I said, tail switch activated, half press, full press and you'll feel the click. It does have a, a low battery indicator. It vibrates, it's different, it's weird. I had no clue what was going on when I first got the light. Um, I turned it on without a full charge and the body of this thing vibrates very so slightly to let you know that that battery is starting to die. Um, accessory wise, when you get this, you get, okay, so it comes like this with the, it's kind of like a hard, I can take it off here. It's a metal guard that is color matched to this light. So this ring right here, that goes right here with the clip. 
It does come with a spare one. It comes with a silicone clip or a silicone guard. Uh, make it a little easier on your hand. If you have bigger hands, it does kind of bite in a little bit as you're holding the light. You're going to get some of those spines to bite into your hand, into the palm of your hand. So that silicone one is kind of nice. Uh, it also comes with the lanyard and then a holster, which I have right here. So for the Pro, you get kind of your duty style holster. The light will actually project out the bottom and then it snaps closed over the top. Good construction holster. Um, I actually have some of these. We use some of these for mag pouches as well as uh, OC spray at, at work. So this style holster is actually really durable. They will fray over time, but if you take care of them, they're not bad. It is like the Seeker 2 Pro holster. It is lined inside with a softer material. So that way it doesn't scratch the light up. You get, you also get the MCC3 uh, one, one and a half and two amp charger. You do have to use that for this light. Um, and then color wise, obviously desert tan, new to the collection. Black and gunmetal gray are gonna be your three colors it's available in. Now this thing is compatible with a few different options on Olight's website. Um, you can get it with the Rod 7 light tape switch. So if you actually look at the button here it is uh, tapered in and then it has a ring around that taper. They actually have a push lock that will hook over this and then hook this to a tape switch. So if for some reason you want to run this hefty light on the end of a, um, a rifle or a shotgun, you can. There is a mount you can purchase. It is the E-WM25L mount that will hook this to a standard Picatinny rail. Um, and then you can use that Rod 7 light tape switch adapter to actually run that as a light switch on the top of your rail. Um, I'll show you mine eventually. It doesn't have this, but it has a stream light on it, and I'll show you what that tape light looks like uh, in another review um, for that. So price-wise, you're looking at about $139.95 to $149.95. So uh, it is in that same price range as the Seeker 2 Pro. All right, guys, that's all the specs I have on this thing. This is, like I said, this thing is amazing. This is it's definitely a, a, a shooter for a light distance wise. So let's get outside, show you what this thing can do in the dark and we'll be right back with you. All right guys, we're back on the main road here. I'm not gonna put you in the alleyway tonight. Uh, looking at the Warrior X Turbo. Reason being is the distance this thing can shoot. I wanna actually give it its, its full credit here. So hopefully the camera can pick this up as nicely as possible. I'm going to move out a little further onto the road in just a minute, but we're going to do a half press on the tail switch and close here as you can see that that hot beam that's going to be 150 lumens. That's going to run for 12 and a half hours. So let's let's take a scoot out onto the road here. There's no traffic coming, so we're good. And I'm just going to shine it down the road here. You can pretty well pick out Right about there is where you can't see that beam anymore, but I can. It goes up there pretty good. It's lighting up some signs up the road. Now that's the half press. If you press it full, it's going to go to 1100 lumens for six and a half minutes. Step down to 600 lumens for 105 minutes. Step down again for, to 300 lumens for 27 minutes. One more time to 150 lumens for 52 minutes. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here's the 300. Here's the full 1100 lumens and as you can see you can you can follow that beam straight up the road there without a problem and this thing is like a searchlight it's pretty awesome all right and let me see if i can get up get it to show you there it is see that green glowing anytime you run it on the full lumens that comes up inside the lens so i think that's pretty cool just uh, another thing, another cool little neat feature about the light. Um, but as you can see, this is definitely your spotlight, your searchlight. 
uh, whatever you want to consider it. You're not going to carry this thing around for everyday tasks. This is going to be purpose built, or this thing is purpose built for long distance lighting. Um, like I said, I would put this in my car during spotting season and go spotting. That would be my easiest thing to do with it. Or down to my other property in the woods if I'm looking for coyotes or something that are that might be close to the house or a bear. Obviously, <laughs> not here. This is the city. But at the other property, there's, I mean, 20 some acres, 100 and some acres of woods around, but 26 of it is ours. So definitely another option. All right, guys, so that's the Warrior X Turbo. That's all I got for you here today. Later.